Hello, I'm Paul Riley, a Senior Programme Manager on Scotland's Railway, working on the Glasgow to Barhead electrification project. This project is the next step in Scottish Government's programme to decarbonise Scotland's railway. This will allow ScotRail to introduce electric trains on the Glasgow Central to Barhead route. These are greener, faster and quieter than the existing diesel trains. We've been on the ground here for two years now, constructing foundations and installing mass needed to support the new overhead line equipment. We've also run out a significant amount of the overhead wire that delivers electricity to power the trains. To create the space needed for the new overhead wires, we've had to demolish and rebuild some bridges, such as at Nisdale Road in Strathbungo. Last year, we closed the old lever frame signal box at Barhead Station, moving signalling control to the state-of-the-art West of Scotland Signalling Centre in Glasgow. It's been a busy two years for our team and for our contractors. The next phase of the work will see us close the line between Kenneth's Head and Kilmarnock for six weeks from the 24th of June. This is to complete the overhead wire installation and carry out complex civil engineering works at Nitz Hill and Barhead stations, as well as platform and ducting works at Kenneth's Head, Priest Hill and Darnley stations. At Nitz Hill, we are removing the old footbridge and building a new ramp to provide platform two with step free access. At Barhead, we are extending the length of Platform 3 to accommodate four carriage trains. We listened to passengers' feedback before choosing the six-week closure option. Closing the railway is never an easy decision, but getting everything done within a six weeks is less disruptive than closing the railway every weekend for at least 12 months, particularly with a Saturday now being one of ScotRail's busiest days post-pandemic. It's also safer for our teams and more efficient. While we are electrifying the Glasgow to Barhead route, colleagues are also taking advantage of the line being closed through to Kilmarnock as they carry out track and signalling upgrades and improve embankments in the area. I'd like to thank our passengers and the wider community for your patience while we deliver this vital work.